Hey guys, Jay here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we got a fun video. Today we are going to tune the Husqvarna 257. Let me just square you guys up there. We are going to tune, uh, I'm going to show you how to tune a two-stroke chainsaw. It doesn't matter if it's a chainsaw, a weed whacker, uh, they're all very similar. But anyways, we just put a carb kit in the 257 and now uh, I need to tune the high and the low and the idle a little bit. So again, um, this video is just a reference. Please watch other videos and consult other people. Um, if you do too far on a certain setting, you can blow your saw up, and I don't want to be responsible for that. But anyways, I'm going to show you how I tune my saw. Always reference your owner's manual and maybe other YouTubers or what it may, whatever it may be. But anyways, this video should help, so let's get right to it. First thing we're going to do is we're going to start the saw. We're going to warm it up. All right, so we got the saw warmed up. First thing you want to do is find where your low, your high, and your idle screws are. It's generally going to be three holes. Uh, on the side or on the top of your chainsaw somewhere. So let's go ahead and start this. Let's set the idle first. So I wanted to demonstrate that. You see how I was turning it counterclockwise, it got real doggy. Turning it clockwise, uh, you wanna eliminate that bog on the uh, low jet. So let's go ahead and start it again and we'll bring it back to where it should be. So you see how there's absolutely no hesitation at all. So turning it um, counterclockwise, well, blah, blah, it'll bog it out. Turning it to the right, you want to find that sweet spot where there's absolutely no hesitation, but it doesn't raise your idle. As you can see, the, it, the idle came up, the chain was spinning uh, freely, so I backed it down a little bit, uh, and it hit that sweet spot. So now, the high jet. The high jet basically just controls how high your saw is going to rev. And right now it's doing like a, I hate to do these demonstrations, but it's doing like a, buh, like they call it four stroking. It's kind of like a rev limiter. So we want to hit that sweet spot where we just go a little bit past that and then come back. Because you remember this, plugs are cheaper than pistons. So you don't want to fry your piston because you leaned your saw way out. This isn't a hot rod competition. You know, I need this thing to last. So let's go ahead and start it up. We're going to tweak the high now.
so there you go that's pretty much it so all in all you basically want to listen um and for the low jet you want to eliminate that ball 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 that your initial trigger pull you want to eliminate that bog get it to that sweet spot and then for the high end you want to basically find out where it revs to the point where you're like oh it's gonna blow and then you just back it off probably about half a turn because remember plugs are um cheaper than pistons so i hope that little visual demonstration helps um i like to put a little flag on my screwdriver so i know that if i go from here to here that's a full turn or if i go here to there let me show you this way from here if i'm turning it so i had like you saw me doing the high jet i had the high jet way wide open and i went from here back to or back to here i went half a turn uh back on the high jet but anyways i hope that helps i hope that makes sense you want to get the saw to where it's wop clean snappy all the way through and um no bogging at all, no hesitations. You're gonna have to do this with the temperature change, humidity and whatnot, you'll need to tweak it a little bit, but once you do it once, get comfortable with it. Again, don't leave the high jet so strung out where your saw can blow up. Granted, it's never gonna be at peak RPM once it's under load in wood, but still, uh, I hope this video helps. So anyways, thanks for watching guys. We're gonna go cut some wood with it now and see how it does. Mm -hmm.